Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to take a look at and show you how to install the Windows Pi OS on your Raspberry Pi 4. This OS is a skin version of Ubuntu 20.04 with a desktopify optimization that is made to look just like Windows 10. There are also some cool pre-installed apps slash programs like PyKiss, Dolphin and the Raspberry Pi Imager as well as Audacity, Shotcut etc for the content creators out there but we'll get into more detail later on. Unlike most operating systems that I take a look at in my videos, I actually created or better said skinned and optimized this OS myself, since I wanted to create a 64-bit optimized Ubuntu based OS for the Raspberry Pi that looks and feels just like Windows 10. I know Twist OS already exists and it's absolutely great, but it's based on Raspbian and I wasn't quite looking for that. Anyway, before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet and enjoy the tech related content and tutorials that I create, you're welcome to subscribe and if you found this video helpful, it would definitely make my day if you'd leave a like. And now let's get started. First of all, to install the Windows Pi OS, you'll have to download the ISO file containing the OS itself by clicking on the first link in the description below. This is a Google Drive file so you'll have to sign in. Click download and download again. While it's downloading, go ahead and install an SD card flasher, in my case the Balena Etcher flasher by clicking on the second link in the description below or by visiting balena.io slash etcher. Once you've downloaded and installed both, you'll have to extract the image. You can either use WinRAR or 7-Zip to do this. Now that you've done that, just open up the flash and select the ISO file as well as the micro SD card that you'll be flashing it onto. Personally, I'm using a 64GB one. And click on flash. As soon as it's done flashing, remove the micro SD card from your PC and plug it into your Pi. Just give it some time to boot. After that, you'll be asked to log in. The username is Tech Horizon and the password is Windows Pi OS. You can always change the username and password later on. As you can see, the OS looks just like Windows 10. Most apps have custom Windows 10 icons and the file explorer is, at least in my opinion, pretty much identical to the real one. Like I mentioned earlier, this OS is actually just a skin version of 64-bit Ubuntu 20.04 with a desktopify optimization and some cool apps and programs. The Firefox browser also has hardware video acceleration, making video playback and simple scrolling on websites a lot quicker. Unfortunately, there's no Widevine DRM built in and no Chromium Media Web Browser, so you won't be able to watch any Netflix on this OS. Nevertheless, there are still a couple of cool apps available, like PyKiss, K, the Dolphin Emulator, a couple of games like Minecraft, and some handy tools like the Raspberry Pi Imager and the Putty SSH Client. In terms of programming and coding apps, there's the Arduino app, the Bluefish Editor, and Genie. Apart from that, there are also some apps like Audacity, a couple of different screen recorders, and the Shotcut Video Editor, which would be especially useful for the content creators out there. But other than that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and liked the OS. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.